Hey YouTubers, it's Brown Coat Nerd, and today we've got a cheetah. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry, in the high production version of this video, this is where we cue in all the sound effects and uh, visual effects. Okay, I won't do that again. Uh, today we've got the Beretta 85F, which is also known as a cheetah. Um, all of the Beretta 80 series, which range from 81 to 89, excluding 88. I don't know why, but they just never made a Model 88. These are all typically smaller guns. Uh, they range in caliber from 22 long rifle to 32 ACP to the largest, which is what we have here today, 380. Um, the 85F is basically a single stack version of the 84, or the 85, any of the models. Uh, they got several different evolutions. You have the B, the BB, the F, and the FS. Now, I know the B and the BB was just the uh, adding more serrations on the slide, as well as serrations to the front and back strap, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, the F, from my understanding, was the addition of the textured front and flat trigger guard going away from the rounded one, as well as some internal um, upgrades. And then the FS, I've seen some people say that it's uh, even further... Um, upgrades to the internals and I've seen some other people say that the FS the S simply stands for satin finish now I'm not sure if that's true because I know at least in the Beretta 92 series um, FS is just more upgrades has nothing to do with the finish uh, on the gun so what we got here is the 85 F uh, which like I said I think is the single stack version of the 84 the 84 is a much more popular gun. You're going to find a lot more videos on YouTube um, about the Beretta 84. So if you're wanting to get as much information on this gun as you possibly can, you're going to do a search for the Beretta 84 as well. Mechanically and uh, cosmetically, it's the exact same other than the thicker grips due to the double stack magazine. Uh, Beretta also did make a licensed uh, version of this gun for browning under the BDA name as well as for FN under a 140 name. Those guns mechanically are the exact same as the 84, except they will have a traditional slide mounted safety like on the breaded 92s instead of the frame mounted safety um, as on the 84 and 85. Also, they will not have the classic open slide um, that the bread is due. They'll just have the open port for the spent casing. Other than that though, the profile of the guns um, on the slide and everywhere else are the exact same um, as the 8485 series. Uh, and so once again, if you're looking for uh, lots of videos and lots of info on this gun, go ahead and do a search for the Browning BDA Hickok 45, which is always my go-to guy when I'm getting ready to buy a gun. I always want to see if he has a video. Um, and he does have one on the Browning BDA. Also do a search for the FN140. That doesn't seem to be as common as the uh, Browning model. But anyways, so what you get for this gun, I did get this from Classic Firearms. Um, I believe it was $400. You have a more traditional, original series Breda 92 safety on here. It is ambidextrous. Um, it is on both sides. Like I said, ambidextrous. This gun has been safety checked. I'm not going to wreck the slide because, as you can tell, I don't have a tripod. You do have a loaded chamber indicator and in the fact that the top of the extractor is painted red. So when you got a rand in there, it sticks out and you see the red. It was very bright red when I first got it. Um, I cleaned it when I first got it, took it out shooting some, cleaned it again, and now the red's not so bright. So that's more of a fill indicator there than a visual one because that red probably won't last too long. The safety is a decocker, like on a 92. So you flip her up and safe and the hammer will drop. Now, as you can see, the hammer did not drop all of the way. That is actually a half cock position. You cannot get to that half cock position by manually working the hammer. You can only get there by using the slide, um, excuse me, the uh, decocker. Now, if I take it off of safe, and like I said, it's been safety checked, and I pull a little bit on the trigger, and then come back, you can see the hammer actually going all the way forward. But like I said, you cannot manually get there. Um, by operating the hammer, it has to you have to pull it all the way back and hit the decocker to get that to work. The sights, or which what I really liked on this gun, are two dot like a Beretta M9 sight. 
So very nice, quick acquisition on that. Your slide, or your, uh, excuse me, your mag release, that does drop freely. It's just on the one side. You don't have the option to flip it over to the other side. Now, if that's a deal breaker for you, um, the Breda 84 series does have that option to switch the uh, mag release to the other side. So uh, if you're absolutely wanting that, look into the 84 series. Your slide stop, just like on the 92, is just in the right spot. I cannot get that light in good area. Okay, I hope you can see that. Slide stops the right spot, sticks out just enough. You can easily get it without manipulating your grip too much. Um, and going back to the safety, you know, very easy to flip it onto uh, fire. You have to change your grip a little bit to get it back on safe, just like the CZ 82 and 83s. But I'm fine with that. As long as I can very easily and simply get it into fire um, with my hand on it like that, um, I'm happy. Again, you got your fancy schmancy uh, Beretta open slide top. Now you'll notice, uh, while a lot of people do call this a small 92, it looks like one, but mechanically is nothing like one. As you can see, normally on a Breda 92, you know, I brought this out for a reason, you can see the lugs in there. Whereas this guy, no lugs. You got a little bit of a cut here to help with uh, shell extraction. Reason for that is this is a blowback um, operated handgun. Now that's kind of interesting because it does tear down like a Beretta. Um, the slide or the barrel comes off in the slide like on the Beretta 92. Most blowbacks, um, the barrels are permanently attached to the lower frame like this. Um, and then it uses the barrel itself as a guide rod. So I was really kind of surprised to find out this gun was blowback operated because the barrel is not attached. Um, and then it has your standard traditional guide rod down there with spring rather than using the barrel. As a guide rod. So that was kind of interesting. Um, you know, some will say that makes the recoil a little more snappier. This was very manageable. I mean, it's 380, so it's not going to be anything bad. It did leave a little bit of a red mark uh, between my finger and my thumb, which I was kind of surprised when I saw that because it didn't feel uncomfortable at all to shoot. Um, and I shot like uh, close to 200 rounds through it all in a fairly short period of time. Um, and it never once did it feel uncomfortable to me. Uh, let's see, the trigger guard, like I said, since it's the F model, has the uh, textured front trigger guard. And on a lot of uh, my larger guns, my handguns, it has that, but I never use it. But on this gun, because of the size, I found myself using it a lot. And I was kind of like, ooh, that's nice. Um, and like I said, the uh, it does tear down just like a 92. It's backwards. Instead of a little rectangle thing to push in, you got the circular guy. You can see the exposed trigger guard. Ammo, as you can see, I've got my empty box of Fiocchi, Fiocchi, however you pronounce that. Um, in my review for the 83, the 83 did not like that ammo. Would not even chamber it. Um, I'm happy to report that the 85 loves it. Shot it all up, no issues whatsoever. I shot half a box of... Monarch brand 380, which was in PPU brass, so I'm going to assume it's simply PPU 380. Um, I shot a half a box of that just fine, and then I shot a box of either 25 or uh, 20 rounds of the Hornady Critical Defense out of curiosity. I've seen a lot of people saying they've had issues with hollow points on these. I did not with those two brands. If you plan on using hollow points as like a carrier or home defense, definitely shoot a couple boxes through them, uh, through, through it, of it at the range. Can't talk. Uh, make sure, you know, you have continual ease of operation with no issues there. I, the one hang-up I did have, I believe it was the with the, uh, I believe it was with the Fiocchi, or Fiocchi. It was a failure to extract slash stovepipe. Um, shot around, that casing left the gun just fine, no issues. Uh, next round was going in to get chambered, and I guess it just kind of took off straight up once it hit the feed ramp. Because it was just kind of sticking straight up, um, an unfired round. Um, so that was kind of weird. That was the only issue I had with it. Like I said, I haven't shot it a whole bunch. So uh, a full reliability test, I really don't feel like I can report on that quite yet. Um, some of the cool things about this gun. 
The markings, it does not say cheetah anywhere on the gun. And from what I've seen on some places, they say that is if it is specifically built for the military or police. This one does have a PM mark, like on your actual American Beretta M9s. Now that stands for proof tested and Magnaflux or Magnet Particle, something fancy that says this gun does hold up to what it's supposed to pressure wise um, and there's no flaws in it, yada, yada, yada. That mark is also stamped on the barrel. And then another mark I found, which is not gonna show up here. There's a little rectangle right there under my finger. And in that rectangle, there is a star. It says FAT in all caps, and then 91. Did a little bit of research, had some help with some people and some Beretta forums. And what that FAT stands for, get ready for me to butcher some Italian, stands for Fabrica Army Turney, or something roughly that sounds like that. Uh, my understanding is that is an Italian military arsenal, um, and the 91 on that stamp means it was re-arsenal than 91. I can't imagine them doing much to this. I don't think they put a new finish on it or anything like that. It's Like I said, the gun's in really good shape. I'm very happy with it. The grips are in great shape. Um, I mean, it's almost like a brand new gun. We do have some holster wear along the edges there. Uh, but it ain't nothing bad, and for the price, you know, I'm, I'm just very, very happy with this gun. Um, so one thing, I do not think I touched on this. I've seen a couple videos of people pulling the hammer back, and this is usually on the 84. There's more videos for that out there, so I don't know if mechanically there's a few small differences. They'll say, push up your safety a little bit, that's safe, that decocks it. The reason that worries me... That is not safe, or at least on this particular 85F. So please, if you're carrying your gun around like this, you know, test it, make sure that it's actually safe. Obviously do that with an empty gun, um, but just do not carry it like this. Flip it all the way up to get it on that decocker. Another thing I see people complaining about, once again, I'm not sure if this is just for the 84s, is the fact it has a mag magazine disconnect, or that you can't shoot the gun once the magazine is out. No magazine. Fires just fine. Do not know if that's because it's an 85 or because it was intended for military use. Um, but either way, I'm happy with that. I have a feeling most people will be happy with that. The dimensions are pretty stinking close to a Makarov. Um, the slides, very scientific here, measurements. Um, the slides are pretty much the same length. Now the Breda does have a much bigger dovetail or a beaver tail, not dovetail, sorry. has a bigger beaver tail. So that takes up a little more length there but it, it feels better than the Makarov. It is also a little bit thicker um, both on the slide and the lower frame but not by much mostly it's the safety sticking up but down here you can definitely tell the Brita's got a little more meat to it. Um, not much. So yeah overall I am very very happy with this gun. Um, if you're looking for a 380 that's not one of those super itty bitty small pocket pistols this is a wonderful option if you want a high capacity 380 the 84 is a great option all right i hope you guys like this video if you did please like and subscribe and have a great day